All right, this is a little introduction. I'm Kelly Ward, the Calm Mom. Um, I've been selling online since 2014. I sell eBay, Amazon, Poshmark, and I just started Etsy. So, um, and I do a lot of uh, shipping myself of, uh, to my customers with eBay and Amazon. I do some merchant fulfilled as long as uh, the FBA. So I'm going to show you, you know, how much you can stop paying too much for shipping. You know, a lot of new sellers have trouble understanding shipping and sometimes you just got to get into it and learn. So I'm going to give you some tips to save you on tip um, shipping. So you can save on shipping one of two ways by cutting the cost on your shipping supplies or knowing the most economical way to ship your items to your customers so that way you know how much to if you're going to do free shipping you're always going to add in your shipping costs into your total um, price of your item or you can have the calculated shipping but you got to know what your weight is so that you have the correct you will charge the correct amount to your customer. So to save on shipping supplies, one of the things I do is I have my parents, they live in the same town as me. Um, I just tell them, save me all your Amazon boxes and your bubble wrap and stuff like that. I have my husband bring home boxes for me to ship in to, for um, Amazon FBA from his job. I bring boxes home from my nursing job. I just get box, you know, that way I'm not, you know, spending a bunch of money on boxes and uh, bubble wrap and air pillows and stuff, stuff, stuff like that. You can also order free shipping supplies from the U United States Postal Service website. They have priority mail, mailers, boxes that you can order and they will ship to you free. So you can use those. I use the padded flat rate of uh, mailers, so many things. I ship coffee mugs in them. I put the coffee mugs in a box. I have a, a, a video showing how to do this. You put the coffee mug in a box and you put it in the, uh, in, the pat, in the flat rate mailer and it comes out cheaper to ship it that way. And then um, if you have an eBay store, you can, um, it, you get a quarterly shipping supply coupon. And I use that, you get, you can order boxes, you can order poly mailers, you can order bubble mailers. They have all sorts of eBay branded uh, bo uh, shipping supplies. So I have plenty of, you know, every, you get it once a quarter and you just, depending on what your store size is, the starter store doesn't get it, but the basic and above gets the shipping supply coupon. And I usually wait for about um, three or four weeks after I get the coup after everyone gets the coupon because everyone goes the first few days and order stuff and they're out of stock. So I just wait a couple of weeks and then I order the stuff, but then I get everything back in stock by then. You can search for free boxes when you're outsourcing, when you're at Dollar Tree and they're stocking the shelves, they got all the boxes cut that, you know, packed down. They have, you know, if you go to Walmart late at night when they're stocking the shelves, they got box, you can just ask the employees, usually they don't care, you know, they're like, oh, that's less than I have to take back to the room, to the back area and throw away. So you can ask them for boxes. And you can search for free boxes online. Just go to Facebook Marketplace, Craigslist, and look in the free area, or just type in free boxes. And there's all the time people who have moved recently and they got their free moving boxes. They want out of their house and you can just get that. And if you need shipping supplies, go online and order in bulk or order them in packs of 25 or go to Sam's Club because you go to the Dollar Tree, it's good at the beginning if you only need one or two. Because that's, you know, but they're 50 cents each. You want to get that price down even cheaper. And if you're ordering, you know, 25, 50 at a time, then you can get them for, uh, you know, pennies. 
compared to what you had you're paying for at the dollar tree or at walmart you know i try to you go to walmart and dollar tree as last resort if i run out i try to keep track so i don't run out all right next slide the next thing is knowing how to ship for less so after when you're first starting you need to go ahead and say i'm going to put this this t-shirt i'm going to sell it's going to go in a poly baler i'm going to put it in with all the stuff i put in my bag you know in in with my my, my little thank you card if i put it in a thank you card or put the t-shirt in the poly bag into the poly mail and see what it weighs so i know this shirt's going to weigh six ounces when i ship it out so i know what the charge or around about what to charge for shipping um and you want to have multiple shipping supplies on hand so you're not running out to walmart in the middle of the night to buy boxes because you don't have a correct size for an item and then there's sites like fit shipper that they have two they have a way that you can while you're listing, you can say, my item is this dimension, this weight, what would be the best way to ship it? And they'll even choose between um, FedEx and the post office, which is the best way. And then there's Pirate Ship. For it. They have an international shipping program called Simple Export Program. And all you have to do is on Pirate Ship, Partnerships free to use, no fees, nothing like that. You just go to contact us and say, I want to be in that simple export program. And they have um, first class international shipping. It's up to four pounds. So you can get that at a really cool, great rate compared to what eBay offers for international shipping. And they also have cubic rate shipping. Now, to figure out cubic rate, there's a formula that you take the height, the width, and the depth, and you multiply them, and you divide it by a number. It's on the Pirate Ship um, website. I think it's 1728, I, but I'm not going to lie. Um, but and it'll tell you if it comes up to this 0.1 then it's going to be in this cubic rate if it's greater than 0.5 then you won't be able to use it use cubic rate so it's really good for small heavy items that um the cubic rate and i've saved four or five dollars on just one item from by using cubic rate uh shipping the um, rates and you can resize boxes for lower dimensional rates um if you're sending stuff into amazon amazon fba and say you have a box and it only fills up halfway you understand it the post that the ups is going to charge you for the whole dimension so you can take and i score the box inside with like a um a little box cutter and cut down the corners and i just fold it down to make that box smaller so that the dimensional rate is less because if it's you know they will charge you not by the weight all the time sometimes they'll say well that's a pretty big box for it and it doesn't you know even though it doesn't weigh much they're gonna charge you for how big that box was so you want to get that box cut down to as small as you can and don't forget to check out uh, UPS versus FedEx. There's times um, I usually ship to Amazon UPS, but sometimes a heavy box, I'll check the FedEx rate and FedEx comes out cheaper. And you want, you know, you want to get that bottom dollar down on that cost. So I always check between UPS or FedEx, especially on heavier items um, when shipping to Amazon.
I do want to thank you, Kelly, for uh, taking the time today to cover that. Uh, we know that this is what we call our abbreviated training. And in the Econ Sales Academy, we will actually have 45 minute to hour long training sessions and they will be live. All of the training sessions will be live. We'll be covering many different topics. And so Kelly is one of our trainers and we are so grateful for her. She has a, a wealth of knowledge when it comes to shipping. And so um, it's a great opportunity for you to get information about shipping. And we'll do some live demos on some of the things that she talked about. So you'll get a lot of great content inside the Ecom Sellers Academy. Thank you so much for uh, stopping in uh, for the Ecom Sellers Academy uh, brief training session with Kelly Ward. Thank you, Kelly. You're welcome. Have a good night. Good night. <laughs>